Oh, it's a beautiful day today, sun shining. I'm spoiled for choice. I mean, I've got to do these woods to go all around the back of the uh, tower, or I have permission for about three quarters of a mile of fields going up this direction to where there's Neolithic um, cup and ring markings. So I might just toddle along there and go for a walk and have a look. Uh, yeah, I think I'll go that way. <laughs> oh, look at all that. Nice green field. <laughs> it's barren of <laughs> signals. I've had one signal in 200 yards, but it's a coin ball. <laughs> uh, tiny, tiny, tiny coin ball. And it's not a coin, but what are you? Oh, what are you? A ah, piece of bronze capping off something. It's a start. Oh, I thought that was silver. Big 86 bouncing through. It's a bronze um, ring cap of something. Uh, I've just noticed wherever I go, I can be seen from the top of that tower. <laughs> Jubilee tower, that is. Oh, I thought that were hammered. <laughs> it's a pewter button. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I picked it up and it was just thin and oh, wow, uh, time yet. So I'm here in this the middle of this rock strewn paddock look here <laughs> and I come across a penny. Young Head Victoria, 1877. There she is. There must be a reason for it to be here, but <laughs> it, it eludes me. Right, well I've arrived at this um, where the lane, look, actually comes into this field. This is where they would uh, all have congregated and actually got a 19, I think it's 1919 bronze half penny already up here. So keep fingers crossed. Now that's what I call a bit of copper pipe. <laughs> look at that. There's about a yard of copper pipe there. My goodness. 1938 George uh, VI bronze penny actually in the path in the lane which hasn't been used for years look uh, so there's a remarkable lack of uh, <laughs> tin foil and stuff thank god and bottle caps oh that got me going though I, I'd caught it with the shovel look and I just saw that gleamy bit sticking out a lot. Oh, but it wasn't <laughs> silver. Another, another bronze penny look. Um, Elizabeth II. <laughs> one in that hole, one in that hole. I've left them open so you can see how close they were together. 1959 Cupra Nickel Sixpence. Huh. All in this little bit of lane, just here, look. I was hoping for at least Victorian. Another Cupra Nickel Sixpence. I just checked coming back up. It was only a 43 and that's on GM power so I'd ignored it on the way down. <laughs> uh, 1920 um, George V Bronze Penny. Just working me way up along here. I thought to myself, whoa, I haven't seen a coin that big. <laughs> I'll turn it over and it is the Steeton uh, Dobbin Mills. <laughs> it's a, a tag for the mill. They made Dobbins here. So, well, there may be a bit of silver along here somewhere. Now, where were they walking to? That's the question. A cricket badge. Oh, that's going to take some straightening out. <laughs> a bit of interesting stuff up here. My compulsory iron ring. <laughs> Let the hunt begin. Oh, one of my favourites. <laughs> a solid little brass nut at about 10 inches, which always comes through on a silver reading. <laughs> I've got a few of you, haven't I? Mm. Oh, well, this little stream. I followed the, the sheep track all the way up this field, ends up here, uh, and then this is as far as I can go. Um, field runs out, 
and we get on to Moorland. And the chances of finding stuff up there is <laughs> less than remote. <laughs> ah. So that's the little street down there that uh, powered the mills down in the, the valley bottom. Oh, I enjoyed that walk. Now, if you can still hear me for the wind, I'm going to go up here because that's a good little place where they would have stopped if they did. And I'm going to have a look at these rocks for them cup of green stones. Well, I'll come up on this little flat bit. <laughs> Got a load of signals. First one, animal tube. Second one, same signal, a half penny. <laughs> so I'll continue. Well, I was right, there's another half penny here, badly corroded because beyond that wall, I'll lift the camera up, maybe you can see, is open moorland and acid. And that acid is eating these coins. I need a silver, come on. It gets a bit cold when the uh, sun goes behind a cloud. There's a cold east wind, sun shining on the hill over there, look. <laughs> but I ask you, could you want a better place to metal detect than somewhere like this? Yeah, one with silver coins. <laughs> ah, pewter spoon handle. I'm not too sure that isn't an Irish harp. Oh, a little pewter button. I'm on my way back now. It's uh, pulling in cold. Sun starting to set. But, uh, oh, a very nice little walk. This excellent. I've got to head back up over there. A coin ball. What is it? Oh, what's that? Oh, you're not a coin. Ah, oh, you're one of them damn clips I got out the horse field. <laughs> I haven't figured out what they're for yet. <laughs> oh, dear. One fabulous army badge. Northumberland Fusiliers. With the, the cavalry man. Hey! Oh, no, it's George and the dragon, isn't it? Look! There's the dragon at the bottom. Hey! <laughs> Oh, that's a nice one. That's made my days, that. Tiny coin ball. Seem to be having anything but coins in them, don't they? Oh, you're tiny. You are tiny, 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 whatever you are. Oh, there you are. What are you? You're a nut, or a screw, or a, a washer. Oh, you'll get cleaned up when I get home. <laughs> a little bullet. Now the GM power gives us a signal, but it wouldn't give me any numbers, so I flick to basic one. It gave me an 89.92, so I dug it. <laughs> and there it was. Now while I'm pointing this way, I failed to find the cup and ring stones, but look. There are thousands upon thousands thousands upon thousands of rocks along that ridge <laughs> I just don't have enough time <laughs> now the road on the other side of that gate is supposed to be Roman road it goes down there through the village through 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 and it goes up that hill if I can get it to focus properly there's a line there right now, centre of screen. There's a straight road going right up that hill. You see him right in the middle, look. And that is supposed to be the Roman road that goes across to Elslack and then down to Ribchester. But nothing been found. Another one of those very thin copper discs. Bigger than the others, though. I think it's to do something to do with World War Two ammunitions. Hey, George, five penny. Not unexpected, I don't suppose. It's on a south-facing wall. <laughs> oh, sun's come out again. There, yeah, I've got to get back up to that tower. Look. <laughs> oh, I don't do uphill. It's one of the one of the don't do's I don't do. Uphill. 
Hello, welcome to the roundup. I think the first thing you'll notice from the board here is the amount of tiny little things that that uh, GM power picks up. <laughs> Had a good day today actually. Um, no silver, but who needs silver? I got some fabulous little goodies. Let's start with the with the junkite. It's not crapite, it's junkite. <laughs> crapite doesn't even get in my bag. <laughs> um, screw, copper, so it picks it up. Nail, copper, so it picks it up. And of course it's bent. Here's one of those caps out of what I think is a stun grenade. Uh, oh, a little, little zip. My favourite imitators of silver coins. <laughs> coming in all various sizes and shapes there but they all give very good signals oh, this is an eyelet uh, off canvas the canvas goes between them two slots um, and look at the size of that <laughs> tiny 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 I'm not sure what it is it's the end of something um, but it picked it up, no problem. Little bits of copper strip, bits of lead here, and, and odds and ends of assorted metal. Oh, this is a strange bit of lead. It's it's a, a wedge, look, it's definite wedge shape. And I think it's lead. Yeah, either that or pewter, but it, it's a little wedge. I've not seen one of those before. Now, okay, let's get on with what I regard as goodies. Hey, a mill tag. Steeton Bobbin Mills, plural Mills, and it's um, N455. This is the work tag that the workers used. Had loads of these from over Keithley Way off the Burlington Sheds, but first one for Steeton. It's a little mill that was up the, uh, just up this little, what we call a clough. Um, tiny little valley, steep-sided valley. Um, there, were, there was mills in every little valley that you could imagine that had a bit of water. Enough to drive machinery or wash out wool. Um, onto the army stuff. <laughs> Bullet. Obviously hit something. Wall up. Look at that. Flattened it. Little cartridge, 177 this in it, very tiny. I think that's a 2-2 two -two. bullet, bullet head. Look at this. Oh boy, do I like this. Northumberland Fusiliers, George and the Dragon on it there, look. And I think that's fire, I'm not sure. Cat badge. I'm not going to straighten that out. These things tend to break. They get very brittle with age when they've been in the ground. But whoa wee, eh? Never expected to find that up that valley. Ah, uh, now. This is a buckle. Oh yeah, it is. It's a buckle. Cricket buckle. Goes on a belt and fastened in on the other end more like a sash buckle than anything but I try to straighten it out but see they just crack they're, they're, they're too brittle but uh, well I presume they're cricket bats aren't they <laughs> yay never expected to find anything like this up there um, pewter button pewter button ordinary button little thing here with VSV on it. Um, VV. No idea what that's all for, what it stands for. Give someone a little problem. Into the coins. Two, four, six, eight, ten coins. Bit disappointed with the coins. I, I, on Google, I worked out where people would have congregated, and it was right, they did. I found uh, quite a few just in this little congregation in the end of a lane. But th they're not what I call old. 
two cupra nickel sixpences about 1950 60s uh three half pennies um the oldest is well sheesh the oldest is terrible but who is it <laughs> i think it's a george five it's not that old it i got them up on the near the moor and the acid is just eating them away and five pennies huh. look at this this is a elizabeth two we're looking at what 62 1962 on that and it's horrible <laughs> Then you look at something like this, which is 1920, not too bad at all, look, bronze. Um, this is a George VI, again, terrible, the ground up there was terrible. Another uh, George V, not too bad. And then here, this is, uh, oh, I don't know what this is, it's terrible, it's in terrible condition. Oh, it's a Victoria. Young, I think that's Victoria. Yeah, Victoria, there it is. But really, really grotty. So, yeah, the plan worked, the money was there, but I was hoping for Georgian and a bit of silver. It wasn't there. It's the way it goes, but um, really pleased with the other stuff I got. Another mill tag to add to the collection. Oh, I haven't done these, have I, up here? Uh, end of a spoon, again, pewter. I think, I think that's a harp, isn't it? In that design, and on this side, well, goodness knows what this is. What are you? Yeah. Oh, let's see if I can get the shadows right. Yeah, and I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. Or are they just flowers? But rather on it. Oh, and then this. Actually, this is my piece, the resistance. What is it? Whoops. <laughs> Apart from trying to escape. It, it's a clip of some description. But, and when you open it, and it will open with a little bit of persuasion, it, the inside of it slides here in this slot uh, and it opens up fairly substantially but a clip for what? is it a hair clip? I haven't actually seen anything like that before but there you go now I'm going to leave you with this <laughs> <laughs> Gonna leave you with my mate St. George and his dragon, eh? What a little belter. <laughs> yep. Anyway, it's out there. Go get it. Can't have silver all the time, but uh, there's always something very interesting to find. What I didn't find, actually, were those cup and ring stones. There's thousands of rocks up there. Thousands upon thousands. Just couldn't find... Uh, they've got to be obvious. There's a lot of your imagination can play tricks, but I couldn't see anything obvious. But I'll leave you with this. Cat badge of one of our laddies who fought in World War II. And they lost his badge when he was up in the fields with a young lady, I reckon. <laughs> Ah dear, good luck, happy hunting, till I see you next time, bye.